Alright, good day everybody and welcome to Fulgora day 2. <laughs> Second day on another planet, I already feel homesick. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sums it up pretty well. <laughs> uh, last stream we went to Fulgora and after a little bit of trouble starting up with a we've got a logistics system at home kind of technology. Uh, we came up with this thing. Well, we didn't came up with it. We designed this in, uh, uh, earlier on, but we built this thing for real this time. It is actually built in my real playthrough at the moment. Let's switch off, uh, switch back on the gear. Uh, this is basically a machine which takes scrap and makes a rare quality productivity modules out of it. I suppose we gotta go in map view to open the chest from a distance. We've got four. <laughs> That's not true, we've got more. We already started integrating them in the machinery. So basically, once we get more of them, we'll just upgrade more and more parts of, the, of this uh, structure to involve quality modules. Um, and we got, to, we got to obtain a whole lot more even basic quality quality modules. Uh, because we're gonna need to build a couple copies of this machine. Uh, this makes the quality modules which are used to actually make the rare quality modules out of the setup. But of course our ultimate goal is to make um, the Mark II productivity modules, Mark II speed modules and Mark II efficiency modules in rare quality as well in unlimited amounts or at least not literally unlimited but uh, like automated, like real automated uh, productivity modules in rare quality, which we can then use to start our beacon science builds on Norvis and as well as on the other planets. So we kind of require all four modules in rare quality um, in order to proceed with the new stage of builds. As you can see, Norvis currently uh, is still very much unbeaconed. All the setups just require tons and tons of assemblers. Hopefully that's gonna change after we unlock the Mark II modules. We can get maximum productivity module in everything of the Mark II variant. And we can hopefully compactify a lot of these setups, especially change over to, e to EM plants once we get back from Algora. And also the other planets, uh, we're not even gonna start building those until we've got the beacons uh, and all the modules in rare quality because that's what I'm designing my stuff around. We're playing 1000 times science cost, so that means it is 1000 times easier to get rare materials <laughs> early on in the game. Thanks Gen, Gen Eric <laughs> Gamer Guy <laughs> for uh, raiding. Uh, we're just getting started. Alright, so this thing is going, we got to keep an eye on it if it doesn't clog up. Uh, I did make some updates between the end of the last stream and this stream to this machine. Because my original design, uh, well, that's, that was a long time ago. We didn't even have, uh, we planned to go to Fulgora first until we found out just how OP foundries are. So we hadn't had, uh, we hadn't planned for a foundry for Holmium plates, for instance. Uh, instead running on assembler, so that has now been integrated. Also a lot more chests of stuff are being accumulated now before the rest is sent to a recycler. And we're also accumulating more gears and steel because that is mainly what is used to make both the... Um, not the foundries. Uh, the, the EM plants require a lot of steel and refined concrete. Uh, and the recyclers also require a lot of uh, steel as well as concrete so we are now saving up uh, more of those resources um, there's been a couple other changes let's let me quickly reiterate them for those who are watching the VOD yeah we added the foundry uh, we switched from rare chests to uncommon chests almost everywhere because well, frankly, I don't want to spend the rare steel on uh, rare chests anymore. So the bottleneck chests, they are rare. 
But all the other ones, they are basically just uncommon. Or a normal chest, where it can be. Um, we are no longer making quality steel on Northeast, since that goes through a beacon setup now with speed modules, which is incompatible with making quality. Um, so our rare steel production has stopped over here, so uh, I'm probably going to end up, send up sending over my rare steel from Fulgora instead. Which is where one of the other changes comes in. Can I still do this? Yeah. Uh, one of the other changes is um, I've, ma I've made a little bit of space to incorporate roboports. So I can automatically load a rocket silo with um, whatever it needs. Uh, mainly it's going to be these uh, Mark II uh, rare quality modules. But if I just switch over to passive provider chests, uh, the rocket silo basically acts as a requester chest. So I don't need a logistics system to make the bots move. Um, uh, we don't need the logistics system and the logistics chest to make the bots move stuff over from the red provider chests to the rocket silo. So that should be good enough if I just provide a chest everything that I could want, like blue chips, red chips, steel, uh, and so on. We can then just, um, we can maybe use our tiny ship over here, which hasn't done anything just yet, except fly to Fulgora by itself. We can use that one to request up those uh, rare quality modules or rare quality steel. And... Uh, the bots will deliver it to the silo and we can send it home to Norvis in sort of a on-demand, semi-automated way with our Magzipti Deluxe spaceship over here. Which is currently just hovering in orbit. Uh, it is able to sustain itself even though we have got only damage upgrade too, so that's a good thing. Uh, by the fact that it hasn't blown up after the first 10 hours of sitting in orbit. So I guess that's okay. Um, quickly through the other changes. Yeah, that, that was kind of it though. I integrated lightning towers in the design so I don't need to place them manually every time. It makes it a bit easier. So now it's more of a flop it down and uh, it should be good kind of uh, design. I am saving up to 12 chests of holmium. Uh, normal quality holmium here. Uh, I think that might uh, that might be enough storage that we won't be sending any holmium to the recycler, but we'll have to see. Um, I think I'm not going to reload. I think the times of reloading the stream in the beginning are over. Let me just check if I did not mess up. So the important thing is that we still can get this achievement. I did not enter editor mode, that means. Also... Yeah, I do not have the editor mod enabled, so that's good. Alright, looks like uh, the first rare mining drill has run out already. So our goal for today is to um, build three more of these machines. Uh, the first one is going to make productivity modules. Uh, the second one probably speed modules and the last one efficiency modules, as that tech we are still researching at the moment. Um, Probably we should look at uh, what we want to research, but we can we can do that a little bit later. I've kind of been thinking maybe we want to research the car. It's a little bit wasteful to spend an hour and 40 minutes researching the car. But unfortunately, uh, my running armor and its battery are quite limited. And it is kind of hard to explore a lot of terrain on Fulgora. Uh, we don't need to explore it right now though, uh, but eventually for the science setup we should like explore lots of terrain and maybe plop down like radars all over the place in order to find a good location for it. Yeah, but maybe we can do that later. I think the first order of business is uh, actually researching uh, automated rail transportation which unlocks the train stops and the signals. That's going to be a requirement as well for making science on Fulgora. I don't see really what else we would need in the short term. We're kind of running out of technologies. Let's just quickly go through it. Uh, Fast and Surder, it's kind of a meme at this point. We're trying to avoid it. 
weapon shooting speed we don't need this is personal equipment which we don't need the car might be in there it's also like maybe it's part of the fulgora science package circuit network i kind of have the same feeling about circuit network as i do about fast and servers at this point which is let's try to see if we can do without it it'd be fun explosives actually that is required uh to get to artillery it is in the prerequisites for artillery along with military four so ah yeah we need to, to still unlock the metallurgic signs but this would be next in in line that requires yellow signs as well though okay, now i messed up my tech order the train network thing and elevated rails were in there then maybe the car maybe explosives it is required anyway and it is kind of okay because uh, during the research of red and green uh, science pack technologies only which does not use blue science we can actually store up a lot of uh, red chips which we will need to unlock elevated rails which has the purple science requirement Alright, explosives, gates, we don't need them. Lab research speed. Not at the moment, but after beacon setups, we might want to invest in a couple levels of lab research speed as well. But that is that's gonna be for later. Stronger explosives is actually required to get to Aquilo. Looks like you need uh, two levels of explosion damage before you can even research the rocket turrets for some reason. 